so last week we talked about personal knowledge management uh, and just uh, a brief recap on that. Um, basically, personal knowledge management, if we go back to uh, the very official Wikipedia um, reference, um, is about basically collecting information, um, kind of building a bit of a second brain uh, to and finding a way of managing that information so that you're able to bring up useful things at the right times, etc. Right. And so we looked at how Evernote is a good place to kind of store information, audio recordings, all that kind of jazz. Um, what I'm going to run over uh, today with you are two very recent tools uh, that have come about that have really gone a long way to change the paradigm of how we store information. Um, the first one is, is a tool called Notion. Um, and I don't know if some of you, I'm guessing that some of you may have uh, had a look at this already. Um, but what Notion is, is it's basically an all-in-one workspace. And we've got a little description here um, where you can write, plan, collaborate. People use it for all kinds of things. You can create projects, uh, notes. A good way of thinking about it is like a Lego set. You can basically build blocks upon blocks upon blocks of information. Um, the homepage for, for Notion is notion.so. Um, and it's, it's relatively easy to get started and, and use. It's a relatively easy, intuitive platform. Uh, the user interface is, is very straightforward, um, at least to get started. Um, so uh, there's a really good beginner's guide to Notion. Um, I recommend having a look if, you're, if you just want really get to, you want a very initial primer. Um, the, uh, yeah, so this PDF here that's, that you can just, there's no, you know, email sign up or anything like that. You can just go straight in. Um, and this gives a really good primer on uh, what Notion is all about. Um, so it walks through it, collaborate, you know, how it can be used as collaboration. Um, there's, a, there's a good kind of primer video here as well. Um, this blog post here. Um, talks about how Notion, how someone's using Notion um, both for professional and personal use, which I find doing, I, I'm doing myself quite a lot of this myself. Uh, so you can have these different workspaces, which are essentially, um, yeah, different bodies of information. So maybe you have a company workspace, you may have your own personal one, um, you may be working with different teams, et cetera. And so you have different workspaces for all of those. You can have your week um, meeting notes. This blog post kind of goes through some really kind of classic examples of the way that people would use this. Um, scheduling. Um, a neat thing is when you create, say, um, so I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to create a, an example page. Um, and uh, so if you think of this, you know, a bit like a Google Doc at first, it's, you know, you, you, you basically type away, you can bold things uh, the same way as you do on any kind of, you know, even like a Word document, right? But if you want to kind of start playing around with these more um, sort of interesting blocks or uh, more advanced functionality than simply writing text, um, you can click the plus button on the side and you can start create, creating sub pages, um, different kinds of sections, different kinds of formatting. Um, and um, you can create tables. So if I'm, if I'm going to create a table, so say for example, this is a, a workspace that I created for, for our home actually. <laughs> this is our flat. Um, this is my father-in-law watching TV. And um, this is what we actually share with our guests when they come to stay. So they have our, you know, our Wi-Fi details. Um, they have our, they know um, how things in the bathroom work uh, and so forth. And actually one thing I was thinking of is I'd like to have a page about our drinking cabinet. Um, I don't know why, just for fun. <laughs> um, but let's say, or I'm just using this as an example, right? And let's say, um, so I want to catalog all the um, drinks we have, right? So I'm going to add a block here on the side on the plus button. You can do it that way, or you can press slash, and then you can start typing, okay, I want a table, right? So I'm gonna start listing, um, in actual fact, I'm gonna send myself, uh, I'm actually gonna send my, I just took a picture just now of our uh, bar, which I'm just gonna send myself. Uh, there we go. So I'm just going to pull up uh, Telegram. Um, and I'm going to go to save messages. Uh, so here are a couple of pictures of our 
um, tasty drinking cabinet. Um, and okay, so we've got some nice tequila there and this and that and so forth. Um, I'm just gonna like dump those in uh, my, so you can literally just like drag media, photos, etc. Just put them in there like that. Um, what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna turn this into columns. So you just drag images uh, from side to side. So there we go, we've got our, oh, I've got the same picture twice. I don't know how, why that happened. Um, but you can see, okay, we've got some Don Julio, Don Julio uh, tequila, right? Is that tequila? I think it's te tequila. And we've got some 1-800 Reposado uh, and so forth, right? Um, now we've got these, so we've got our Biddle bottles list there, listed. Um, so there's, there's three of them. But what I'm gonna do is I wanna have, you know, a nice fancy looking photo for each one. So I'm just gonna, just gonna Google this, uh, Don Julio tequila. Um, there we go. I think we've got a similar bottle. What kind of bottle is it? It looks like this one, I think. Don, there we go. So I'm just gonna download a picture of this. Should. Yeah, there we go. Oh, actually I can just like, I think I can just, I should be able to just, this might work. If I, so um, we can change the uh, media type here in the column. Um, and this is attachment, so this is fine. Um, I'm just gonna go in here and you can either upload the image or I'm just gonna paste in the link of the image. And there we go, got a nice bottle there. I'm gonna do the same with the Reposado. Um, Yeah, my, my wife used to be a bartender, um, so <laughs> she's uh, introduced me to uh, sort of good, good, good high quality um, drinks. Um, so I'm very thankful for her for that. Um, it's funny, when I first met my wife, uh, we uh, went to a bar and she ordered um, tequila on the rocks, like a proper tumbler of tequila. And I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> this woman is pretty hardcore. Um, but she, you know, because I was used to just taking shots with the, with the lime and the, and the salt. Um, and, uh, but she introduced me to actually really nice tequila, not the terrible stuff that you, um, that you just, you know, slam down in bars. Okay, so we've got a couple of photos here. Uh, maybe you want, might, might uh, include some more um, information, like for example, um, you know, uh, what kind of spirit this is, for example. So this is tequila. Um, and we've got, actually we want to, that's a multi-select. We probably want a drop down instead. That's a single select. So this is also a tequila and this is whiskey, right? Cool. So um, let's just give our, um, oops, sorry for the misspelling. Um, so this is, this is great. We've got our table. That's looking nice. Um, but let's say, for example, we want to see this in kind of a, a gallery view. You can change the view. So you can turn your tables and what essentially looks like a spreadsheet into this like super sexy uh, gallery view. How about that? Um, then you just try to change the properties and we want to change the uh, card preview uh, to the photo, obviously, right? Um, we're going to fit that image. So it looks, so look, there, there we go. Um, we might want to also include a little bit more information, uh, like, you know, okay, this is a tequila, so, you know, what kind of, uh, drink it is. Maybe we might want to include, um, you know, pairs well with, or, or um, actually, you know what, cocktails, uh, associated cocktails. Ah, this is, this is actually quite a good example because and this is where, where things start to get a little bit more uh, complex, let's say. You might have another table where you might call it, you know, cocktails, right? Cocktail recipes, let's say. Um, and this is where, let's say, I don't know, let's say a Cuba Libre, right? And then you might have, what you can do is you can relate these tables to each other, right? So we could change this into a relation. We could say, well, um, uh, uh, there we go, drink, drink scaminate, here we go. So we create this relation and I can say, uh, okay, Cuba Libre is a bad example. Uh, let's say, let's say Margar let's say margarita, right? So you might have your uh, margarita recipe in here and you might have your directions. So you probably want this text and you'd probably have your text instructions here. Um, but I can see which, uh, you know, I can quickly start seeing, okay, which, which, um, 
which drinks I can mix this with. In actual fact, what would actually be better than doing, uh, relating it to the actual drinks is actually to the type. So it might be, okay, tequila rather than just Don Julio. Anyway, this, this is just to give you a brief idea of, of what you can do uh, around this. Another thing you can do is also filter uh, these uh, views. Um, so you might say, okay, I just want to see you know, the tequilas and you might just see, see all your tequilas. Um, you know, I might also have how much we have in stock here, for example. So um, you know, I might have uh, here, I might also have, um, uh, well, you, you can also see there's a, there's a back reference there as well. So I can see that this drink is also related to margarita as well. Um, but I might uh, also have a, uh, let's say a checkbox to say in stock, you know? So, um, you know, that way, if I filter this on what's in stock, I can just see the stuff that we have. Um, I could also, you know, add things that I want to get, but that we don't have so far. Um, this is on the main table. In actual fact, uh, doing these kinds of views uh, or, or doing this kind of filtering uh, is even, it's actually even better to do uh, by creating a view on that database. Um, so you, so if this is the master database, you might want to have several different views to that. So this one could be, you know, our gallery and we have it filtered on just the, let's say we just want to see, you know, tequilas. Um, then we would uh, filter this. Uh, I've got some column formatting things going on here. So I'm just going to put this to the bottom. Oh, and just move that. Uh, so as you can see, you know, it's a very sort of draggy, droppy, what you see is what you get uh, type of interface thing going on. Um, and you do have to play around with it. But this is just the, the, the general basic idea of uh, Notion. Um, I'm going to go back to our doc and we're going to look at a couple of other examples. Um, but that's, that's just sort of a brief uh, kind of play around to give you an idea. Um, so I've got here a bunch of other templates uh, that are worth looking at. Notion has this template gallery. Um, and one thing I find about Notion is it's a great tool. It's like one of the best things about it is it's this blank canvas, but it's also the thing that holds it back because there's so much you can do with it. After a while, it's just like, you just have all this stuff and it's, it kind of goes back to this eternal problem we have with personal knowledge, personal knowledge management. It's just like a dumping ground. These tools become dumping grounds for um, our brains. Um, so, um, but nonetheless, something, the way I've approached, uh, I'm currently approaching the notion at the moment is I think of like a very specific use case. So it's like, okay, I, I need, you know, say for example, I, I, actually I'll give you a very good example. My wife uh, put together some resources uh, for her, um, uh, for her uh, employees uh, at the, or former employees at the restaurant group that she, she works at. Um, and so she basically just put together this one page that had all these resources in terms of like economic, this is, this is, um, so she works for, or at least used to work for a re Mexican restaurant group. So all the employees are Spanish speakers and, um, a lot of them really, really need help and they need information. Um, so she basically put together this massive document. I think it's over a hundred resources about, um, you know, helpful things in terms of, uh, mental health, in terms of physical health, spiritual, um, you know, just all these things for kids to do. Um, basically, a whole bunch of really, really helpful information. But that was like one use case. Uh, it was actually, just, this is all actually, all the data for this is contained within one table um, that you can see at the very bottom here. And then we just categorized it. So I, all I had her do is basically just put down like the name, description, website, link, and category. And then the rest of this is actually just filtered views of that table. Um, so um, kind of a, something that's, you know, helpful for each, very pretty, easy for, you know, information for people to digest. We've got a table of contents on the side here as well. Um, I'll run over a couple of other examples we have here. Um, actually, the, the, you can kind of build websites with it as well. It's not really meant to be a website builder. Um, but the thing I like about it is it's so easy to just go in and edit. Um, it's able, we're able to, um, uh, you know, just go in and collaborate with other people. Um, and so I just kind of put, cloned the, the WordPress site uh, and just slapped this together, um, just, to, just as an example for you to see, uh, to see here. So that's, that's linked in the document as well. Um, this is a, an event I ran, uh, productivesday.com. 
um, where we had a couple of speakers. Um, so we had the event and then as soon as the event was over, I was just able to update it and say, this is a past event, but these are the previous speakers. Here are the recordings, etc. cetera. Um, and so, uh, yeah, once again, super easy. Actually, um, speaking of websites, um, uh, my apprentice, uh, when he, uh, when I found him, he mentioned that he had this podcast, uh, that he was working on with his brother and, uh, their show notes for the podcast are built in notion, which is, which is just awesome. I was like, okay, you're in, you're hard. Um, so if you go to episodes, you can see he's got show notes. This is a, this is a great use case for, uh, notion. It's really fantastic. Um, you know, so he's got the, the timestamp notes here, uh, links, a little, uh, explanation, etc. really easy to put together. No knowledge of how, how to mess around with WordPress necessary and that sort of thing. Um, I've got a couple of other examples of really good websites. Um, this, this is a company handbook, which if you, <laughs> if you want, you can basically duplicate and, you know, do ad lib, you know, ad, is it ad libs where you just swap in information, like, uh, just change the company name and this and that, but you can duplicate these templates, basically just put in all you, and this, it's just got all, all the good stuff in here. Uh, so that was, that was a startup. Um, yeah, there's a lot more things here. Um, for example, this is a page, uh, that I use just to, where I just dump, uh, trends around podcasting. Uh, maybe when I'm on a, you know, sort of a discovery call with, um, you know, prospective clients, um, we can talk about the current, you know, podcasting landscape. Uh, you know, these are useful statistics that I kind of bring up. Uh, so having a page like this is quite handy, uh, you know, to keep uh, handy, you know, just how many people are listening to podcasts, what podcast players are using, uh, what's the growth, what's the consumption like, et cetera, all this good stuff, some useful re resources to keep on top of the industry. Um, yeah. So, um, I'd love to go over Notion more sometime. The next, the, the, the next part that I wanted to go on to, and again, I'm going to have to probably turn this into part three. Um, but I wanted to talk about another, like Notion I find is great. I still find it has this problem that it's this blank canvas and it's just like, it's still hierarchical. I'm still like, ah, how do I like structure everything? So if you're an unstructured person, I don't think you're necessarily going to get, you might get a little bit structured in some ways on Notion, but overall there's no, it's like you still have to come up with a structure yourself. Um, what Rome does, which is I think just uh, mind blowing is, and I'm probably gonna have to explain this more in another session, but it basically just allows you to just not think about the structure at all. You can just put information in there and it self organizes. Um, uh, that sounds like a, a, a quite, yeah, it's like, how is that possible? But um, I, I will, I will um, come on to that. I think this is a good point to actually just kind of, um, because I've kind of been ignoring the chat and I, and I want to go through um, and see what people have asked. Um, if you had things in the chat, you just want to say out loud, I'm, I'm happy to, to take any questions around that as well. Um, Jonathan, I yeah. am uh, debating because I'm I, I've been trying to use an app to, to put all my knowledge or whatever projects and to, you know, to share it with my team. And I'm, we use, um, oh my God, I, I forgot the name. Well, we used an app last year and we didn't, we didn't, um, we didn't like it that much. And to, this year we're using Trello. Yeah. Um, but I see this and it's much more friendly, like visually friendly. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if like, you you have like uh, pros and and cons or you know in in order to keep with one because I want to just keep with one app yeah um, because I I need to learn everything about that app so I just need one I cannot learn everything about every app that it sees I I absolutely agree um, what I would say about Notion and I feel as though you know I'm I'm going to bring up loads of tools in these on these sessions and that sort of thing. I think the one tool that is probably most worth investing time into actually f understanding how it um, uh, how it um, oh, hold on a sec. This is my uh, Ethan. If you can hear me, do you mind if I call you back in a minute? 
Oh shit, I actually say. Ah, okay, uh, hold on a second. I'm just going to close this down. Sorry about that. Um, if there is one tool that I recommend uh, you investing time in, uh, where I think you'll be able to cover most use cases, Notion would probably be it. Um, like you say, I feel as though it can do what no, it, it's one of these all in one tools. It's one of these tools that tries to do everything. And I think, as you probably know, like the problem with a lot of these tools, it doesn't do them all particularly well, like, but it, it, but Notion is probably the closest you'll get. Um, and I feel as though, you know, if you can, it's the, the, the main problem is going to be just finding the right kind of structure that will work for you. Um, there are act, there's actually a whole cottage industry of Notion pros, they call themselves, um, who are like consultants that will help you, you know, put together your whole workspace, etc. I think actually a lot of them will do it for free if you, um, if they, if you allow them yourself to be used as kind of like a public case study. 